Hey guys, how you doing? And what better way to celebrate our independence than by fighting the gun grabbers? Whether they're redcoats or ATF agents, GOA is ready for the fight. I'm Phil with the Minuteman Moment and I've got some great news from Gun Owners of America. We just announced our lawsuit against the final version of the ATF's frame or receiver rule from last summer. And unless you've been living under a rock for the last year, you've heard about the ATF's proposed rule that would redefine what a frame and receiver is that affects all of us. This rule was nothing more than a blatant attack on gun owners everywhere. And it would have eliminated the previous definition of only one frame or receiver per gun. This would have meant that people would have had to get a background check on gun parts. That's something that Congress explicitly prohibited in statute with the Gun Control Act of 1968. And this rule would have regulated the sale of 80% kits with a background check and completed ATF's illegal de facto gun registry by enforcing new record keeping procedures to keep all firearm transaction records permanently. And so that's why we started working on this rule by getting out information to our members, to all of you, as quickly and as clearly as possible, by encouraging all of you to comment against this rule in the Federal Register, and even getting 27 members of Congress to comment against the rule. That's a big deal. And so that's why I wanna take a quick second and acknowledge all of the hard work that has been put in by gun owners like you, commenting on the Federal Register works. And so thanks to the 60,000 comments that were sent in by GOA members, the ATF backed off of the multiple frames receivers per firearm, as well as suppressors, no longer requiring multiple serial numbers. That's a big win. This proves the power that we can have as a united group when we stand together against any and all unconstitutional gun control actions. Things are getting better, not worse, despite what you may see on some of the social media sites. But we weren't just gonna quit there and take that as a win. Instead, we've been hard at work with our latest lawsuit to completely overturn the rule. Our mission here at GOA is to protect and restore the Second Amendment. That means no compromising our current rights with more infringements, as well as expanding the rights we already have. And so when we hit, we go for the jugular and we do it with everything we've got. That's why when we sue the Trump administration over the bump stock ban, not only for the bump stocks themselves, but also for the variety of infringements that would come as a result, like the pistol brace ban and the forced reset trigger case. When we go to court, we have every intention of setting a big precedent. So in the future, it's gonna be a lot harder for these anti-gun judges to impose laws which defy the Second Amendment. And you may not know this, but the Supreme Court recently issued a ruling on an environmental case which may have a lot of implications for gun owners worried about government agencies overstepping their bounds. And frankly, who isn't? In the opinion of the court, they determined people have the right to challenge government regulations from government agencies even before their rules go into effect. So even though the rule won't go into effect until August, we now have standing to sue. We know this lawsuit is important because President Biden, a top gun grabber, is pushing hard for this rule. Presidents don't usually hold an entire press conference for a new agency rule and make a second attempt to install an agency head unless they're desperate for it to happen. And that's what Biden's doing on this rule and the agency. Congress also wants to codify this rule in statutes. So the House a couple weeks ago put together a monster gun control package, which among other things, instituted the same ATF rule, but before our comment campaign. They were so desperate to ban homemade firearms, they basically copied and pasted the outdated rule language. Not only that, they also chose to write their bill even worse than the ATF's rule. It was so poorly written that GOA pointed out that any attempt to reassemble a firearm after you take it apart for let's say a cleaning would make you a felon. And if that weren't bad enough, the media and big tech piled on into the debate and just showed everybody how little they know about the topic. If you look at our work, they tried to cancel GOA twice. The anti-gunners don't care about what stops crime. What they care about is disarming people. That's what this is about. It's never about gun control. It's always about people control. The anti-gunners don't care about what stops crime. They care about disarming more people. 
It's never been about gun control. It's always, always about people control. More people are beaten to death or strangled than killed with homemade firearms. We'll be releasing more details on our lawsuit shortly. So make sure you stay tuned on our YouTube channel and other social media accounts. I'm Phil with the Minuteman Moment, and I'll see you next time.